Hello everybody, I hope you're having a good Easter time if that's your line of belief. Uh, today I want to share with you a few symbolic observations I've made over the last few days and a bit of synchronicity I guess you'd call it that got me thinking more in terms of the symbols that are all around us in everyday life and it all has to do with this new house that I moved into a few months back and it started with me noticing a sun symbol across the top of my front door when I moved in I jokingly told my family you know we've got to get rid of this door because we're not sun worshippers but you know it was more of a joke I left it at that now for those that aren't familiar with sun symbolism it's one of the fundamental occult symbols that's associated with this new world order at times it's been used to replace the all-seeing eye on flags and in certain pieces of art it's been linked to the biblical symbolism surrounding Jesus since the very beginning and although some some of the detail in the zeitgeist movie has been proved incorrect um, Jordan Maxwell's original work lays out the idea that Jesus and the story of Christ is really just a coded way of explaining the rising of the sun and it's passing through the zodiac, the winter solstice and you know things like that and we have the whole dawning of a new day concept from Jordan Maxwell and all sorts of different symbolism about the sun the sun is a big deal of course it is it virtually controls our planet it gives it life Sun worship has been around since the dawn of time. So I won't go into it deeply, but if you don't know about the sun worship and its ties to the occult and the ancient mystery religions and Freemasonry and the New World Order and this 2012 dawn of a new day theory, then it's definitely something you want to research. So where am I going with this? Well, I was going through my emails the other day and got one from a guy called Ricky Clayden who you know is nobody special he's the PR guy for a comic book company who I get press releases from for my work totally irrelevant but obviously something subconsciously snapped into place in my brain because within minutes of reading this email I was on the David Icke forum reading a thread about a guy called Rick Clay you know Ricky Clayden Rick Clay one of those really cool coincidences you get from time to time and I began watching this guy's videos on 2012 I'd put this off for months because there was just something about the 2012 conspiracy that I just wasn't interested in I didn't think the world was gonna end I didn't really you know just I didn't want to go there but this guy made a hell of a lot of sense with his theories about it and he started talking about the Sun and different symbolism and I guess it was just he sort of got my mind working in that right brain more in tune way of thinking and I thought ah the Sun the Sun that's above my door who else talks about the Sun well uh, I've heard Brian Gerrish talks about the Sun um, in one of his videos he mentions the Sun symbol above number 10 Downing Street which is exactly the same as the one above my door more or less so I was in an inquisitive mood and I went to look at who developed my new house and the company that built it and it's a company called Longhurst and lo and behold their logo is quite clearly a pyramid with an eye how convenient we have sun symbolism on their doors and an eye pyramid logo and of course when you think about it who are the great builders and the great architects historically well it was the operative masons the freemasons which you know developed into this ceremonial secret society of freemasons we have today and their all-seeing eye and pyramid symbolism is absolutely everywhere so I did a bit more digging into this company and one of their partner projects is called Keystone Developments well where have we heard Keystone before it's a Masonic term you know this this is from a Masonic dictionary the stone placed in the center of an arch which preserves the others in their place and secures firmness and stability to the arch 
as it was formerly the custom of operative masons to place a peculiar marking on each stone of the building to designate the workman by whom it had been adjusted. And it goes on to say, uh, such is related to have occurred to the keystone which plays such an impar important part in the legend of the Royal Arch Degree. Now, the late Rick Clay developed a whole new theory about this 2012 thing and tied it in with the 2012 Olympics. And we know the Mayan calendar uh, is about to end the current eon and is moving into the next age. Some people, you know, that's why some people call it the end of the world. It's more of the end of the world as we know it. But anyway, the 2012 logo, of course, spells Zion which in turn means Jerusalem and basically the idea is that this new world order system is attempting to create the new Jerusalem or Zion or Babylon depending on how you want to call it they're trying to create this in London on 2012 by staging some kind of false flag attack or some kind of project blue beam fake alien thing or if you take it literally humanity is going to move into a new age and they're attempting to hijack our consciousness or something of that nature so the idea is that at the two, uh, 2012 London Olympics something big is going to happen to set the ball rolling you know I'm thinking terrorist attack or some kind of hologram from the sky you know people have, have got their ideas now I'm probably not being entirely clear here you need to watch uh, the Rick Clay videos, God rest his soul, and Jordan Maxwell stuff. <clears throat> but a common theory among a lot of these researchers is that at 2012, some kind of messiah, whether genuine or just staged, but some kind of messiah is going to make themselves be known and take us into this new age of either bliss or tyranny, depending on how you view all the factors at play here. Now Rick Clay saw it as a possibility, uh, a possibility that they're going to crown Prince William, and they're going to reveal something, you know, whether real or staged, that he's like a descendant of Christ or some kind of Messiah figure, and they're going to position him, positioning him as some kind of new king of the new age of the new whatever's going to happen. You know, I'm not certain. Nobody's certain, but there's a lot of theories about how Prince William something big is going to happen with him you know some even call him the Antichrist but they called Obama that but you know whatever there's lots of ideas out there and of course you have all the symbolism surrounding his mother Diana and her death and uh, all that kind of thing but keep in mind that he's the prince at this point now during my own little digging about this Longhurst Homes company and you know the keystone thing and its relation to Freemasonry and the Royal Arch degree during this degree certain Masons in the lodge are given different I guess ceremonial titles and the most important one I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly is Zerubbabel and this actually means the Prince of Jerusalem so is Prince William going to be revealed at 2012 as the prince of the new Jerusalem of Zion in London. Now whether you put much stock into any of this or not, you got to admit it's still pretty interesting, you can't deny that. And there's a few other things I picked up on as well with this Longhurst company. Sorry that the image is such poor quality, it's the only one I could find on the internet. Uh, Longhurst is actually quite a small company, it just deals with the area where I live. but. Here's one of their vans driving around, and on the back is a small child doing the pyramid hand symbol, similar to our old pal Jay-Z. Now, I really wish I could zoom in and find out what the writing actually says, but I, ca I can't do that, and I haven't seen this particular van driving around, but, you know, nonetheless, that pyramid is definitely there. And Longhurst also have a partner company called Spire Homes. And of course, a spire is defined as a pyramidal structure. Now, some more odd things popped up when I googled the area near my new house. 
And on April 23rd, the Lincolnshire History and Archaeology Society will be meeting at the St. John's Church, which is literally five doors down from my new house, to discuss the Knights Templar. Now, Zerubbabel, the Prince of Jerusalem, was given the sanction to rebuild Babylon, or Babylondon, as some people call it, and the Masonic Knights Templar, who hold St. John in high regard, and their Order of the Red Cross, often reenact the moment where Cyrus the Great tasked Zerubbabel with the rebuilding of Babylon, or Babylondon, aka the New Jerusalem or Zion. So I'm not really sure where I'm going with this, you know, it's just interesting to see all of the symbolism linked together and all of these synchronicities. We often look at the one dollar bill and the big Fortune 500 companies and their logos. But maybe you should look at your own home, because mine seems to be branded under Masonic symbolism and sun worship. The story of Christ is really just a coded way of explaining the rising of the sun and its passing through the zodiac, the winter solstice, and you know, things like that. And we have the whole dawning of a new day concept from Jordan Maxwell, and all sorts of different symbolism about the sun. The sun is a big deal pieces of art. It's been linked to the biblical symbolism surrounding Jesus since the very beginning. And although some, some of the detail in the Zeitgeist movie has been proved incorrect, um, Jordan Maxwell's original work lays out the idea that Jesus and the sense of the symbols that are all around us in everyday life. And it all has to do with this new house that I moved into a few months back. And it started with me noticing a sun symbol across the top of my front door. When I moved in, I jokingly told my family, you know, we've got to get rid of this door because we're not sun worshippers. But, you know, it was more of a joke. I left it at that. Now, for those that aren't familiar with sun symbolism... It's one of the fundamental occult symbols that's associated with this new world order. At times it's been used to replace the all-seeing eye on flags and in certain... Hello everybody, I hope you're having a good Easter time, if that's your line of belief. Uh, today I want to share with you a few symbolic observations I've made over the last few days. And a bit of synchronicity, I guess you'd call it that got me thinking more in terms